ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. I'm super excited, guys, to be talking about a new foundation from Maybelline. I know it's been a minute since I talked about foundation and makeup, but my skin has been on the mend. I'll definitely put in the card somewhere up here um, uh, me trying to do my makeup when this skin condition was really, really going off. Um, I definitely talk more about it on the blog channel, so go over there if you want to know a little bit more about what's going on. But today, I wanted to, I, did, I went and browsed the, the drugstore. I haven't done that in a minute, so I went and browsed to see what's new, because nothing's been really new for a minute. And I saw this new Maybelline foundation, guys, and this is part of their Maybelline Superstay collection. And I have a video on the Maybelline Superstay already so i'm gonna link that as well you guys can check that out put it in the description box as well for you guys to see a review on that so the foundation that we're going to be talking about today is the maybelline superstay active wear okay this one right here i do have a video on the regular maybelline superstay i'm gonna link it somewhere up here but apparently this one is supposed to deliver 30 hour wear that's lightweight that's going to be water resistant transfer resistant and sweat resistant i need to look back on here to see what they say in terms of the benefits yeah so that's basically what it's going to be it's supposed to provide this natural finish that's long lasting it's a high pigment foundation according to the website it features an oil free formula that doesn't clog pores and supposed to be dermatologist tested those are the claims it's supposed to be a comfortable matte as well looking here it's available in about 24 shades you should be able to find yours my display when i went to the shoppers drug drug mart they had a nice display. I'll put a picture of it that I took so you guys can see what that display looked like. I did pick up on the add-ons as well. But the display for this just had a couple of the colors. And the color that I picked up is 355 Coconut. That is the shade that I was in in the original uh, Super State. So I wanted to go ahead and try this. You guys, if you've been with me for a while or if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. Hi. But I do still have a lot of acne scarring. So we're going to see just how full coverage it is. I do have combination oily skin. However, my skin has changed since I've had this skin issue. So it's, it still feels combo, but it's more on the drier side now. Here still feels oily because <laughs> this is where my oiliness normally happens. But up in the forehead area, it feels more like a little bit dry now. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. What I'm going to apply this with today is a beauty blender so you guys can really see what's going on. I will definitely get closer so you guys can see the coverage. Now, as far as the primer goes, I won't be using one today, but I will be putting on my Caudalie Grape Water. This really soothes and moisturizes the skin, which is what I need right now. I really love this stuff, guys, especially if you live in a warmer climate. Um, I would suggest getting that because it really cools and calms the skin before you go ahead and put on anything else. My brows are trash right now. Y'all, I cannot wait to get my brows done. Like I have, I literally just like shaved on my arms for the first time in months because the skin problem was everywhere. But so far it's been, it's been on the mend. So the first thing I want to do now is literally just get this on. It does have a pump, yay, but the packaging is white, so you definitely know that it's going to, it's going to get dirty. It's going to get dirty. It's going to get gross, but let's see what this looks like on. That's just one pump straight across the face. Like I said, I'm wearing the shade 355 Coconut. I want y'all to see those deeper scars there. Hmm. Okay. Right now, it's looking medium. It's looking real medium in terms of the coverage. It says full. I mean, we'll see. Maybe it's buildable. But we're going to keep going. The color is okay. Of course, it is a drugstore foundation, so we're not seeing, you know, super exact matches here. But it's okay. I will tell you right now, there is a fragrance to this. I do smell it. It's not overwhelming, but if you're not into fragrance, um, I would stay away from this one because I do smell it. Like it was, I didn't even smell it when I got near to my nose. I smelled it once I started like my forehead area. I smelled it. So you guys know I've got some discoloration here. Let's see how it's going. It's really dry right there on my skin. Maybe it's something that happens in your 30s. <laughs> I don't know. My skin is changing every single day but i'm just grateful to be able to do this and there's no peeling like i'm just so so grateful to be doing this 
it took me a minute to really build up, you know, the the courage and the want to come do this again. But it feels good. Okay. So I'm getting a little bit of, kind of a little bit of Oompa Loompa vibes. A little bit of orange. It's not too bad. It, it's not a far off match from my chest. But obviously, once I get everything else together, it will start to come together. But I will say, this looks like it's going to be buildable coverage in terms of the coverage of it. This is not straight away full coverage, like some full coverage foundations can be. But yeah, I would say this is medium to buildable. You can definitely go in for more. But I did notice as I'm putting it on and sitting here, it is actually drying down matte. So, huh. Let me see if I can go back in with another pump on the side that I worked on earlier to see what happens there. Okay, so a little bit more coverage. It's not picking up the foundation again, you know, putting it back down. Some foundations can do that when you go over it a second time. But yeah, this is Buildable medium. I would not call this full because I can still see some of the scarring through this, but it is immediately drying down matte. So we've got that in the bag. So yeah, what I'm going to go ahead and do is finish the rest of my face and I'm going to come back to you guys. I will tell you the time right now. As like I put this on, I want you to know the time. It is 12.28, if you can see that there. It's 12.28. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face. I forgot to put this on, but I do wanna put this on in terms of the powder that I might use. I don't wanna put on too much makeup today. Like I said, this is my first time back uh, since my last makeup video. And I do wanna take my time. I do wanna take my time with this. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on to make sure that the powder doesn't get everywhere. And I'll be right back once I get the rest of this face together. She get to the cash when she wants. She look like a bad when she wants. She get to the cash when she wants. She look like a bad when she wants. Girl, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Girl, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. We get to it, got it stocked up. Popped up, got a hand all rocked up. Like one care, two care, more cares. She look cares like a bunny, got a hops up. Don't care for designer, got her own drip. Don't care for the phones, got her own way. Don't care for the scenes, take her own trip. Guarantee it's for a bag and she walking. She get to the cash when she walks. She look like a bag when she walks. She get to the cash when she walks. She look like a bag when she walks. Girl, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Up the price for the features. I can see the, I can see the, I can see the fakes and the leeches. I begin to assist a fetus. Pull up at the spot, tire squeal. Got it in my passenger. I told her grab the wheel. Friends hating, told her get out, Jordan pill. But she rocks with me cause she real, for real. She get to the cash when she walks. She look like a bad when she walks. She get to the cash when she walks. She look like a bad when she walks. Girl, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Girl, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. She get to the cash when she walks. She look like a bad when she walks. She get to the cash when she walks. She look like a bad when she walks. Girl, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Girl, do it, do it, do it.
done with my face for today. Oh, this feels really good. <laughs> the only thing I'm missing is lashes, but I'm I'm not there yet, but I'll definitely put on some this week. I need to put on some more mascara. I'll have everything that I use today listed and linked as always down in the description box for you guys. As always, those links are affiliate links and I appreciate every single one of you that shops my links. That keeps me going, that keeps this channel going and y'all basically fund, you know, every time I review something. So I appreciate y'all. You know, as always, if you prefer the written word, head on over to MissBeautyBunny.com so you guys can read up on all the things that I have reviewed that I want to talk about. Everything's on there. Um, and definitely a written review of this is going to be up. Like I said, if you prefer the written word. So, I so far feel really good with this foundation. It doesn't feel heavy. So their lightweight claim is absolutely there. So it feels really, really nice on the skin so far. Now their transfer proof or transfer resistant claim, I'll definitely test it out later because I have to take some stuff outside to the trash. I'm definitely gonna have to wear a mask, okay, on the face. But I love the filming setup that I have right now. Big, beautiful window. So I'm getting a lot, a lot, a lot of light. So I'm super excited about that. The light that keeps going in and out is my simple human mirror which I love so much but at the moment it is 12 44 if y'all can see that so I'll definitely go ahead and check back in with you all later on in the afternoon to let you guys know how this is holding up on my combination oily skin especially the t-zone I really want to see how this holds up when I you know put the mask on because that's the area where the mask lays the most but it did play well with other products even me putting on um this pixie uh glow on the blush on the go on the glow blush <laughs> it's a cream blush like a tinted moisture stick that's for the face and i just used it for blush today and it did play well with that so i'm excited about this guys and i'll check in with you guys later on this afternoon hey guys so i decided to do a little mid day check up with you guys it's about i hope you can see it probably can't <laughs> it's about 3 47 in the afternoon and I wanted to, you guys to see what this looks like in direct sunlight um, as far as how it feels right now after a couple of hours it's still lightweight I still don't feel it it still doesn't feel grimy or that it's in my pores or anything like that so it still feels good it still looks good I've been wearing my glasses for a couple of hours and I don't see any indentations or any marks or such so so far so good a little bit of shininess happening in the t-zone that is expected but um so far it's not sliding off and it's not moving or lifting or shifting in any way but we'll see um, I'm just gonna give it a couple more hours but I did want you guys to see what it looked like in absolute direct sunlight all right guys I'm checking in after a workout it is 5 ooh, 558 I just finished a little 15 minute workout sweating sweating because I really wanted to I kept it on because I wanted to see how it would hold up with sweat because it says it's sweat resistant not sweat proof uh big difference wow some sweat just went in my eye okay <laughs> i've got a napkin here uh mascara is gonna come off it's okay this is real i just want y'all to see um what my face looks like i think it's holding up it's not like completely streaming down my face you know i'm just blotting with a napkin so y'all can see and um it doesn't look too bad my scars coming off, but it was a good workout. I did 50 minutes of grow with Joe. That's her name on YouTube here, and she's really intense. Like it's only walking, and it is like heart rate is up. So all the sweat, like y'all see, I'm not even kidding you. This is um, it's on there. There it is. It beads up. This side is really streaming. Um, it's probably like powder. But yeah, I just wanted y'all to see it. It's not bad. It's not that bad. Um, but yeah, that's live streaming. So yeah, I had to give y'all a 5 p.m. update, but I'm gonna go blot and um, continue with the rest of my evening. All right, everybody, I am back after the workout, after dinner. It is, I had an early dinner. It is now eight, every time I do that, it does that. It's 8.20, if you can see there. So I've had this on since after 12, so we're looking at about nine or so hours, and I have a mirror in front of me. 
I just want to tell y'all that nose is oily. Everywhere that I expect to be oily is T-zone right here, except my forehead. My forehead is actually pretty dry, so that's something to look forward to. I showed you guys me like sweating like after my workout. I was yes, I'm in the exact same shirt. I worked out like took a break and then I went and made dinner because that workout had me super hungry, but still in the same shirt. So yeah, you know it's real. So. I will say that it did hold up well in terms of in a workout. So if you're sweating and working out, this will stay. However, um, I did have the streak marks from my powder, but they're gone now since everything was dry. Yeah, everything's dried out now, so they're pretty much gone. I think you could have seen them pretty much a lot more. I still have my mascara under my eye. I didn't even really up, you know, touch that up. But I'm thinking if you do, you know, have a sweaty moment, you literally just need to dab and then go on ahead and put on a pressed powder or foundation kind of thing just right on top. I believe Maybelline does make one. So go ahead in store and check that out just to have something on top to make sure everything looks seamless and flawless. But as I can say in terms of um, oiliness, yes, my nose is oily, but it's not Crisco. It's not like it's not, um, let me get closer here. It's not falling off or shifting. I do have some caking or line making right around my smile lines. And it's just on this one. It's not on both. So that is something that's interesting. Even in my chin area, there's a little bit forming um, in that crevice of my chin on that line. But I will say it's a really good foundation. This price is right and it does hold up. I really liked the finish of it when I first put it on and throughout the day, it kind of looked way more natural as I went throughout the day. You guys saw it looked in direct sunlight. So it looks really good on the skin. It doesn't leave like my little fuzzies, you know, all standing up or anything. So it's not that type of powdery matte, but it is more of a natural matte finish. And I do appreciate that. And I do appreciate the longevity of this. Even though I've had it on for so long, worked out and everything, it doesn't feel cakey and it doesn't feel heavy. So that's super important if you prefer to work out with makeup on I think this is gonna be one um, that's super affordable that you can find anywhere like drugstore anything like that and it actually lasts and stays but so you guys uh, that's it for my review of the Maybelline Superstay active wear foundation go ahead and grab this one as always I'll have everything that's on my face today down in the description box for you via affiliate links you guys can shop those I appreciate you all so much don't forget to thumbs up this video if it was helpful to you and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video really really soon bye